Hello, this is Chaos Baloo, and welcome to the Venus Lighthouse in Let's Play Golden Sun. We are on the final dungeon, the final ascent, and also need to heal. Because, hey, there's a synergy stone here. But, yeah. Back to the dramatic music. And what dramatic music. What good music, that is. That happened to be dramatic. Uh, but, anyway. Let's get going. And we immediately fight a Thunder Lizard. I remember you guys. I have a fight on floor 5, I think? Somewhere around there. You are really weak. The Thunder Lizard, less so. I was hoping I would just drown it, but I guess that would be hoping for too much. I can probably... oh no. It unleashed the Storm Blessing, which hits still hits like a truck. I believe I want to... oops. Oh well. I believe I want to go up here first. No, I was mistaken. I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. I haven't a clue what the p actual path up here is supposed to be. Wild Griffin. Not as big as a regular Griffin. Or as strong. Although it does have a rare drop. Which... There are tricks in Golden Sun for getting rare drops, but generally I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do them. I don't really think it's worthwhile, to be honest. Like, you can get the good equipment, you can get some really good equipment to get them, but or if you do, but it's more effort than it's worth. And it's kind of cheesy as well, as without fail, it tends to involve manipulating the, uh, can I... Maybe not. But yeah, without fail, you it tends to involve manipulating the, uh, what's it called? The, um, the random engine. The thing that makes it random. Which is really cheesy. Tundra. Maya has, like, all the water resistance. That should kill it. Yep. Can I one-shot it? No. Oh well. And that's what it looks like when you use the Murasama. Or whatever it's called. I keep getting the name wrong, so... Seriously, there's nothing... Nope, I guess not. Hmm. Oh, I see. That room is just for in case you go down too far. Oops. Ow. Grand Golem. You're new. But let's kill Boulder Beasts first. Because they're easy to kill. And I'm pretty sure they explode. Which is less than ideal. Oh. Yep. They explode. Please not on Ivan. Uh... No, you hit that one, do that, and then... Mm... And then fix Ivan before he gets killed. Gotta watch out for that exploding. Oi. Okay, now I can kill you and use Wish. Uh, no, that didn't do it. Man, freaking golems. I mean, they don't hit... Well, actually, hits pretty hard, but they don't hit too hard. But, damn, they have a lot of HP. At least for regular enemies. Anyway, right on the very edge. 
hey, it's a box. It's the Thunder Crown, which, as you might guess, is cursed. We're gonna go ahead and give this to Garrett. Cause hey, he already has one cursed thing. What's another? And it replenishes PP anyway, so it. I don't actually need the um. Adept's helm, the synergy boots. On Garrett anymore because, well, because plus four PP per turn. Uh, and Garrett needs a synergy the least anyway, so he can get away with it. Okay, one of these has to have a door behind it. Number two? Nope. Number three? There we go. Now then. Hmm, I hope I haven't missed anything, actually. That would kind of suck. I mean, I don't think I have, but it is a concern. No, I don't think I've missed anything yet. Because there's some really good equipment in here. Mostly for Isaac. And I really want to actually, I really want to make sure I get all of it. Also, I want to kill the boulder beast before it explodes. That is just nasty. Drown, drown, drown! It didn't drown. Oh well. I didn't really think it would, to be honest. I mean, at this point in the game, most things you encounter... Well, they're not immune to status effects so much as extremely resistant to most of them. Okay, the way this works is actually quite simple. We complete the circuit, and then the statue sends off a pulse. And just like that, the door is open. There are several puzzles like that in this place. Shatan. Well, only one place to go from here. Uh, wait, what? Fenrir. I think you're new. Ah, uh, that didn't kill it. That was a little disappointing. Hopefully, you know, who am I kidding? It's probably faster than Maya. Yep. She did finish it off though, so that's something. I'll just heal after the battle. Aha! Okay, um... Cure well. And also, Wish. Now then, how do I get over there? Oh, I see, I can go down here. And that's why there's a ladder in the middle. Progress. Hmm, now this one is more interesting. There's no obvious way out. Or is there? No, there isn't. Or is there? Yeah, I'm not fooling anyone. As soon as this battle is over... Any second now. Haha, -ha, suffocate! I think that would have killed it anyway, actually, but... As you can see, there's a secret door! And we can just move this pillar so that we can get over to the other side. Like so. Just need to go back up, and then we can continue our ascent. This looks familiar. Oh hey, we're over here now. Cool. Okay. More of this nonsense. This one's a little more complicated, though. Since we have limited options. Let's see. I think there's actually two different ways to solve this puzzle. 
Um, there are. So I'm gonna go with the one that involves moving things the least. This goes here. This goes here. And this goes in the bottom left. We could have also done it where these, the two angled ones were on the right side and then the straight one was in the hole I just pushed this into. But obviously we didn't do that. Oh hey, more sand. Is there anything at the bottom? Spikes. Okay, well that's pleasant. No it isn't. What's down here? Waterfalls! With a box! The Dragon Scales. Um, aside from that cursed armor I'm not using... It's here somewhere. Aside from the cursed armor I'm not using, this is probably the highest defense armor in the game. It also boosts fire resistance, which is going to be very important. However, I prefer the attack boost for now. Um, I'm probably going to throw that on... I'm probably going to throw this on Isaac for a very specific occasion. But other than that, I prefer the Assure Armor for the attack boost. And the reason I'm going to put this on it is because the elemental resistance on that armor is going to be very important for something that's coming up. Okay, is there anything else in this one? There are stairs! But what was the other way? Hmm... I guess I'll go up here. Oh hey, this looks familiar. But anything up here? Oh, it's the other way around. Okay then, well, let's push this onto the scale, I suppose. One box at a time. Hmm. You know, come to think of it, carry is also strictly better than move. Well, sort of. Carry, I guess, carry has a bit of a weight li limit. Or that seems to be implied, since you never use it on big pillars. But even so, it is not limited by little lines on the ground saying where you can and can't move things. In fact, that's sort of the whole point. <laughs> I believe that's the one on the far left. Yep. And now we can reach a new area. Where we will presumably be able to unlock the sand on the... right as side as well. Okay, if you're running into those spikes, you'll take a massive damage. I don't think they kill you, but they hurt a whole lot. Just so you know. And... Hmm. Drown it, drown it, drown it! Yes! The, I'm gonna go ahead and reiterate this, but the only reason drowning is so effective is because Maya has the luck of a freaking goddess. 19 is incredibly high in this game. Isaacs is 12, and I have given him every single luck boosting item I have run into. And Maya's is way higher than his, just from her, her, because she has all that amazing equipment, and a few Ginny as well, that are helping out. Because the thing with luck is, it's not boosted, oh hey, this is going to be interesting. But yeah, the thing with luck is that it's not boosted by class changes, unlike your other attributes. Okay, how am I supposed to get in here? There we go. No, I want the box! Okay, let's see. I need to go this way. Ha! 
I got the Gaia Blade! Which is that weapon I was talking about for Isaac. This is the strongest sword in the game. Stronger than the thing Garrett has, even. If only just. Yeah, 135. Not the strongest weapon. Actually, not the strongest sword. This is the strongest weapon in the game. And it has an earth... And it's also earth aligned. It increases your earth power and resistance, and it has an earth based unleash. It is amazing. I mean, hell, it's one of the best swords in the sequel game, too. Not the very best, but one of them. And I totally just. There we go. I mean, there is one or two better weapons swords in the sequel, I'll admit, but it's... But it's still one of the best. And look at that. Our... Re Is that Unleashed pro does probably equivalent damage to Ragnarok? Like, I don't have the exact numbers on it, but I, th I think it's about the same. One of them might have a slight advantage, but I don't know. Let's see. I put that there, I put that there, I put that there, I put that there. Okay. There's only one solution to this one. Unlike the previous puzzle. And that involves being very careful. I mean, the nice thing about about the pipe puzzle, just like this, is they're, for me at least, they aren't really very hard to do. Like, they're just hard enough that you have to think about them a bit, but they're easy enough that you... Well, that they aren't too difficult to solve. It's sort of a nice balance. Although, well, sometimes you want a more challenging puzzle, I guess, but sometimes you don't. You know? Anyway. We are almost done. This puzzle. Anyway. Actually... Actually, I say that. Was the guy blue the last weapon I wanted? No, I don't think so. No, the guy blade was the last piece of equipment I wanted. Huh. Go figure. Hmm. Well, anyway. Anyway. Let's get on with the ascent. Hmm. Do you know this dungeon... This tower may not be as large as I remembered it. Now that I think on it. I don't know. But yeah, like, I mean, I know it's not as hard as the later parts of the last one, but... Hmm. I mean, of the Crossbone Isle. But that sort of goes without saying. Crossbone Isle is a bonus dungeon. Of course it's hard. At the end. Hmm. But... I, I don't know. I don't know. It's been such a long... Time since I've done this part of the game in particular. Yeah, I just one-shot that. That was great. Okay, now let's kill the golem. That sword is so awesome. I kind of wish it wasn't doing that, though. You'll notice Ivan has 1 HP now, which sucks. That's because the fist attack is using has a chance to do that. Which sucks. But hey, I killed it. So let's, you know, fix Ivan. I probably didn't use potent. Oh well. Oh well. Let's keep climbing. There's a Synergy Stone here, so let's use it. And I'm gonna save here, actually. 
as once we jump down here, we land right there, and then we go straight up. And we have reached the Lighthouse Summit. On that note, um, I'm going to stop here. Join me next time for the final episode of Golden Sun, and have a good day. <laughs>